Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the new RTA from Hussar Vapes and this is the Avant or Avant, whatever you may be, we all say it differently. Uh, now this is uh, right here, what I have is a pre-production one that is on my old Delta. Uh, I've had this for a couple of weeks and uh, some of us were given this to give feedback on and uh, there were a few changes made from this to the production one. This has just arrived. I have not unboxed this. Um, so we're, we're going to dive into it. But I will say I, I have been using the tank for a couple of weeks now. So I do know my way around it. Uh, you will get this through either the Facebook group for a couple of hundred euros or I do know a couple of stores will be getting this in stock as well. Usual Hussar packaging, inside you're going to find the RTA and you're going to find some spares and some pins. Uh, I'll put up a screen just now that will give you all the o-ring sizes for this device, so if down the line you're looking for spares, uh, then you'll be able to buy them yourself. So here are all the airflow reducers. You get three in the set. You get a 2, a 2.8 and a 3.4 pin. Without an air pin you're going to get a 4mm draw and once again there's all the o-rings there. So it's made from 304L stainless steel. Uh, you're looking at a polycarbonate tank. I think the drip tip's polycarbonate as well or PC uh, and uh, yeah there we go. Now I, I, they've, oh I've been played here. <laughs> they've, what the hell? <laughs> what, what the hell's that in there? I've I've literally just unboxed this and uh, yeah I've got I can't actually read that right right I've been played here uh, but um, we'll keep going with the review um, okay um, you're probably going to want sizes right now so you're looking about forty five millimeters top to bottom not including the drip tip or the five ten down there uh, it will hold four point two milliliters of juice it is twenty two millimeters in diameter that is the base uh, but it actually comes out to twenty three millimeters for the tank here the drip tip uh, that just pulls off like so I've got a double o-ring affair and your standard 510 drip tips will fit in there now the bore on the chimney in here is 5.8 millimeters this is in my humble opinion uh, this is restricted direct lung or with the 4 mil is direct lung and it does it really really well uh, there is there's going to be a raft of accessories for this um, and there will be mouth to lung pins that will be available as well uh, now this is just my opinion, but I personally do not believe that uh, this would be that great for mouth to lung, not with that size of chimney and the size of the you know the chamber inside here. I could be very wrong. This could be excellent in mouth to lung, but in my experience, I don't think it will be. But RDL and DL, it does it does the job really well. One thing I will say is that uh, from the prototype, they have changed this up. There was, and if I find it, there was a mix of brushed finishes and polished finishes. And, you know, it was all different on the production one, pre-production one. The actual finished one has got more polished everywhere. And for me, it looks a lot better for it. Just realised I hadn't screwed the bottom one properly there. Right, I'm going to pop this drip tip back on. And uh, this is how we get into it. So you can see that you've got the Hassar logo in here and here, uh, which gives you something to, to grip onto, even with fat fingers like mine, and just a little twist and <laughs> off she comes. You are looking at a, a bayonet cap here, you can see how that works, see you've got the cams going on here and it tightens it down, we've got an o-ring running in here, huge, huge well, you know, kidney holes here for putting your juice into zero issue filling this up um, you if you overfill and you don't mop it up then you will get you know when you screw this down you may get a bit of juice around here but that's par for the course with any RTA it's not something that is an issue for this it's just yeah just give it a little wipe once you're finished. Down the base we do have airflow control here it's dual sided and these are big old holes here and, and Listen, I, I've, I'll say this now, I'll get it out of the way. Um, I've reviewed a lot of stuff for Hussar over the years. I've given them constructive feedback about many things and one of them was always uh, O-rings was one of my issues and I can honestly say that this out the box is 
bang on. So we've got the, the honeycomb affair here, we've got a single air hole, which I'm pleased to see uh, actually on the pre-production one. This is actually, they've got a little chamfer on this now because it was whistling on the pre-production one, but they've, yeah, I can see they've changed that up. So that's fixed, that's great. Um, 510 pin, doesn't protrude very far, but uh, yeah, that's should protrude far enough for most people. They've also dropped the height on this. This was uh, five millimeters in height on the pre-production one. It looks like they've dropped, I think they've dropped it to about 4.7, 4.8, and they've actually written my name on the bottom. Thank you very much. Uh, designed and made uh, in Poland by Hassar, so usual drill there. Another thing they've also changed up is that the, the prototype, um, if I show you here, you can actually, if I pull that, that actually moved on the, the pre-production one, uh, but now it's all in place and it's actually, if I pull this, come, you will come off. There we go. Uh, you can see that you've got two little lobes or cams there. They only had one on the pre-production one, but uh, they've got two here now, so it stops this moving about. Right, I'll pop this onto my Atti stand just to show you the rest of it. I will say that the, the airflow control is adjustable uh, when it is on a mod. Uh, so I can actually move that just now, which sometimes you can't. Some tanks, this is fine. You will see here that the tank actually we have, if you can see here we've got a little indicator here. You can move this and open and close the juice flow control. So turn it clockwise, that's going to open the juice flow control anti-clockwise shuts it off so when you're taking it off a mod you know when you spin that it's going to close the juice flow control and take the tank off if you want to get into the deck it just screws off it's pretty straightforward with that effect um, and we just uh, screw away here and out she comes there's not a, a massive screw threads there you can see it's quite shallow so it comes off quite quickly so here is the chamber in here all domed and I will say that the yeah the, the pre-production one the the machining was I'm not saying it's rough uh, but it was a pre-production one the finishing on this production one is uh, far better happy to see that and there's no sharp edges on here nothing like that at all and yeah, that all looks good in there. Good. Uh, you will, if you want to take this to bits, uh, let me find my doodah. Uh, we have this piece down here. It's not very deep. You can see the two slots there. I found the tail end of uh, tweezers or whatnot. Just popping that in. So take the top cap off first and then we'll grab this again and just pop this in here and twist. It's, as you can see there, this is, um, you know, that comes out of there. It's, it's not very deep, but they only had so much metal to play with here, but you'll find the right tool for the job. You'll then find that this piece should come out. There we go. Then I can push this out and uh, I can see what they wrote here. What does that actually say? One and row ring to all the words it didn't. <laughs> Cheeky buggers. Uh, ah, man, that's supposed to be an O-ring there. That's supposed to be an O-ring. Okay, that's well played, uh, well played. I deserve that, I guess, I deserve that. Um, you can also see, where's it gone? Uh, there is a little mark on the bottom of the, the tank there that lines up with these marks at the base here, just to give you an indicator on how far or open the juice flow, co the juice flow has been done. So that's us all back together. <laughs> I can't believe they've done this. Um, I, I love a sense of humour like that. Anyway, uh, let's uh, look at the deck. Now, once again, this is without any inserts. This is a four millimeter. Now I'm going to put in the smallest one in this one just now because I'm actually running it without one in the other tank. Now this just screws in here. These are, uh, I'm pretty sure they're gold plated brass, these. Um, and yeah, this is just going to go in like that. Come on, you can do it. So whilst you have these pins, um, yes, you have this and you can you can adjust the airflow to a degree on the outside. But as always, in my humble opinion, the airflow is really being controlled by this pin here. And uh, right, Phillips screwdriver. So that's as far as the screw is coming out there. And hopefully if I get that zoomed right in, you can see there's plenty of room there to trap your wire. There's no 
slop in the screws at all uh, and uh, I like the fact there's no sharp edges on this. This is uh, it's been a criticism criticism I've had for some Hussar tanks or atties in the past, but uh, we don't have that issue here at all. And even yeah, it's well done this. Uh, something else I should have measured before uh, we get going is uh, yeah, you're looking oh jings. That's uh, I just said oh jings. 8 point, it's about 8.6 millimetres between posts there, uh, or that's the gap you've got between them. So, yeah, this, you, you'll get a chunky, chunky coil in there. I've been using mostly 3mm ID fuse Claptons, but for this build, I'm going to put in uh, just a, a 2mm ID fuse Clapton, just so you get a, another idea of what the deck's like. No rocket science involved here, just uh, pinning the coil down and just uh, screw the posts down. I've just pulsed this off and it's coming out about 0.36 ohm using a little bit of Cloud9 from the lovely people at Vapor Bay. Thank you gents. Cotton through, usual drill, just cut it to the outside edge here, then do my little, uh, just go a little 45 towards the end of the tails, something like that. There, you don't have to be uh, pretty here uh, because the, the wicking holes here are absolutely massive. Uh, and the wells are huge as well and I just find this just wicks really really well uh, I think you're, you're obviously going to have to pack it out a little bit more if you're going with 50-50 uh, or 60-40 uh, but for me with the 70 and 80 VGs uh, I don't cram it full in fact I kind of pack it in there and make sure as always to just push it back a tiny little bit like that and uh, we're kind of good to go going to use some uh, RMVC from uh, Jedi's Punk, which is my all-day vape, which is a vanilla custard. So that's me all tightened up. I have closed off the juice flow control, and uh, we're just going to fill this with juice. Once again, it's 4.2 milliliters of juice it holds. Uh, I will say now, and just, you, you'll, it's not the shortest tank on the market. I mean, when there are shorter ones out there, uh, but um, I am not offended and 4.2 mil of juice will do me just nicely. Also another thing I will say is, I'm just looking at the, uh, the another thing I will say is when you get it and you take it to bits, get a little bit of juice onto all the o-rings before you start playing about with it and uh, the one o-ring to rule them all, um, I've just uh, just, I'm just sorry, that tickles me. Uh, we'll put it back this onto my delta here and open up the juice flow. I can see bubbles coming up there already, and um, just firing away. That's it. We're all that's that's everything, right? Back up top. Yes, I'm having a bad hair day, don't mock me, uh, but uh, right. So the Avant, uh, or Avant, uh, by Hussar Vapes. Um, as I said, I've had this for a couple of weeks. I had a pre-production one. This is the production one. This is already out there. Um, I will, <laughs> as I said, I've always been up front when it comes to Hussar and uh, some of the things with delays on things reaching market or being told that such a thing will be with you in such a time and then we're waiting months later. This was a, a new thing that they tried out, was that they said one week, they said, right, who wants one? We will be delivering this a week later. And lo and behold, they did. Um, they Everybody got them straight away, uh, which is a new thing they're trying and it seems to have worked very well. So well done on that one. But uh, right, here we go. I am on the honeycomb airflow. I've got the, the smallest pin in there and uh, I am at uh, 27 watts just now. Right, that um, that tastes like I would hope it would. It just tastes like some of my favorite RTAs. And, and that's the thing I'll say is that uh, for me on RDL to DL with this thing, it does perform and it performs well. Um, even the two mil pin though, I will say is, it feels looser. Um, this does not feel like a two mil, 
to me, I know it's a two mil, but it feels slightly looser. Uh, and that that kind of applies across the board for me on the pins. I just find it a bit more open. Now it doesn't, my opinion, um, I keep it on the honeycomb airflow. I don't find for me, it seems to make any difference at all what I put it to on the base. Uh, the honeycomb just seems to be quieter, smoother on the draw than anything else. That That's just my take. Um, did they need the other holes uh, in the AFC? I don't know. They're there. Uh, so you've got something to play about with. And once again, the, the motion in the AFC is 10 out of 10. I've actually changed this one up, the pre-production one, uh, I've actually changed it to 3.4. Now this is something else you could say is a bit of a, to change the pin you have to move your coil. Uh, this is something you've seen in plenty of other tanks, you may or may not like that. Some people prefer the pin coming, you know, you can change it from underneath. Um, I must admit I am one of these people but once I put a pin and a coil in something I tend not to change the airflow anyway. But um, yeah, it's just something to be aware of, but uh, this is the 3.4. Perfect. I've no, I have no issues with the flavour uh, or anything like that. You do have a bit of play in that chamber, uh, so you, if you want, if you do want the throat hit, you can lift that coil a little bit and you will get more throat hit and you'll get, obviously, depending on coil and wattage, you'll get plenty of warmth. Um, top to bottom, uh, drip tip, I like the drip tip. Um, top cap, dead easy to take off. There's no, um, it's better than the gobby was. Uh, no, it's there's, there's no issues with taking the top cap on this. It's not, it's, it's, is it even a quarter turn? It's not even a quarter turn and it's, it's off. Um, chimney is, it's not far off six mil. So once again, as I said, I think there will be mouth to lung pins available. I personally, I wouldn't think that it would work that great for mouth to lung, just given the size of the deck, the size of the chamber and the size of the chimney. Now they're going to be doing lots of accessories for this. Uh, there's already a heap coming out for next week, I think, as I record this. So they're going to spend a bit of time with this RTA, I think, and just make lots of accessories available. For those of you that remember back, I mean, the original Hussar RTA was much like the, the k -fun. You got decks, you got tanks, short, tall, everything was available for it. And I think they're going to spend a bit of time with this as well and make lots of accessories available. Um, AFC, flawless, it moves as I would hope. I don't see necessarily the point in the other holes, but they're there. Um, the deck unscrews, putting a coil in is dead easy, I've no problems there. The juice flow control is super smooth. Um, I have had Hassard RTAs back in the day that were stiff across the board, weren't always the smoothest, but the operation on every part of this is 10 out of 10. It's well machined, have no problems there. Um, I do have a problem with the fact that it's a polycarbonate tank. Um, I've spent considerable time talking to Matthias about this. Uh, it's They import it from Gen Germany. It's, it's a high quality PC. Obviously, I'm going to just come out and say, uh, personal preferences would be, it would be PCTG um, because it's more resilient. Um, that's my take on it. Um, it's PC. If you're vaping strong tank crackers, then it's a risk. It, it, it's a risk. It's as simple as that. But as I tend to say, um, if you're vaping tank crackers, then at the end of the day, you want glass or just a metal tank. Uh, but it's my one, it's the two things that I'm going to say about the tank. I'm, I'm giving it a two thumbs up. RDL and DL machining, movement, operation, the way it looks, superb. Big two thumbs up. Uh, just the, the PC tank and I don't think it's going to be any good for mouth to lung, but I don't know that for a fact. That's just a, an assumption on my part. Um, and that's it for the Avant. 
uh, which you can get through the Facebook group or there will be a couple of stores now that will have them in stock or getting them very soon as well. Uh, I want to thank <laughs> I want to thank the team at Hassar for sending this on. I do appreciate the inscriptions. You shower of ball bags. Thank you so, so much. Uh, there are going to be plenty of other reviews and reviews out there. Remember, this is the production one that I've shown off, which is different to the pre-production one. The finishing, the machining, and a couple of other things. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but uh, until next time, Bye for now, and I'll brush my hair for the next one, sorry. <laughs>